Hello guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video and today we're working on three designs to making a beautiful coal powered station. So if you do find this video helpful please drop a thumbs up and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe. Anyway jumping in the three build styles we will be covering today is a bottom fed style a gravity fed style and finally a combination of the two with pipes coming from above and coal being fed from beneath. As well as this we're going to be abusing the new foundations to express our own unique build style preferences and do let me know in the comment section which of these feed designs you most prefer or if you have another type of design that you like to use. And if you want to actually show it off, why not jump over to our Discord and post it in our screenshot section. Now do note that we will be making full use of the new walled power mounts, foundations, glass walls and walkways. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now in order to build the underfed power plant, we will need to place down our first floor of foundations. Now this is where we shall run the coal and water pipes. Now in order to keep it as low as possible to reduce the need for multiple pumps, we're going to place the coal fed on the bottom in the center of the canal of the foundation blocks. Then run the second floor of foundations next to these to create the platform for the power plants rather than lifting it higher up but you can lift it up should you wish to. Unfortunately, due to the position of the coal and water ports, we cannot have a perfect mirrored power plant allowing us to have a central platform, although we can have it offset, which we'll cover later. But for now, we will run one row of generators followed by a second canal and a second row of generators behind that. And once we place the generators, we will connect elevators to them, connecting them to the splitters below. Now from here, we're going to run the water pipes above the coal lines and use the pipe joint to split water off to the power plants. Now, depending on the space that we have available, you may opt for a tight joint to joint feed style operation or just use straight pipes. Now, once you're happy with this, we're going to run walkways across the center to create this look. However, if you don't mind clipping, you can place the new diagonal foundations along the canal and placing two per foundation block will actually cover the whole floor as if it was a normal foundation block. And it does look pretty clean. Now we'll actually use this technique later to show off our power stations with a little bit more of our own personal flair. But from here, this layout is more or less completed and we'll just repeat this behind for the next row of power stations. Now, do note that we will place the walled power plugs behind the row of generators and then connect the power stations up to that wall plug. Now this creates a neater look without wires being clipped through the actual power plants. Although with this layout, feel free to use power poles should you prefer. Now our second option is the inverse of this selection, pumping water to the very top of the factory before letting gravity feed water into the generators. This is the one that I'm actually currently using in my Let's Play series. And for this, you will not need to build the canal. Just place the coal power plants down followed by using stackable splitters to the desired height then run the coal overflow line. Now again using elevators to bring the coal to the generator we will then run the water pipes above the coal line but do note that you will most likely need a pump to push the water up high enough. Now if you're not sure how to use the pipes don't worry uh, you can check out my guide to pipes. The link is in the top right hand corner right now for you guys. Now from here, we will place a joint next to the coal power plant. Note, I use a space between the first placeable joint and the second one to make the pipeline look straighter and more of a 90 degree angle. And from here, we will need to run the pipeline straight across the whole row of generators. Now we're going to do this by using the stackable pipeline poles to get a straight line across them. 
We shall then place joints as accurately as possible along the line to bring the water down to the generators in a 90 degree angled pipeline. Now again, we can repeat this row behind these generators and use the same power connection style. Now for our final layout, we will do a mixture of both the top and bottom fed systems. I personally prefer feeding coal from below and so we'll follow the original plan at first using a canal to run the coal underneath and once this is done, we're going to connect the pipes the same way as the gravity fed layout. Now, once you've connected the pipes together, it's time to run the walkways along the whole line. However, again, if preferred, you can just use the new diagonal foundation blocks to cover up the walkways. Either way, this does look pretty cool. And there you have it. Now, on the note of the external look of the power stations, I hate being unable to place roofs whilst leaving the funnels uncovered. Thankfully, with the new foundations, we can play around with creating straight or sloping roofs, whilst also keeping those funnels unobscured. Now, this gives the station an interesting look about it, and thanks to the windows also being clippable, it can also give the interior and exterior a more unique look to it, which personally, I love. Also, should you wish to consider filling parts of the generator in with the foundations, then you can do. It can also give it a cleaner look that you may prefer if you can cope with the clipping. Now with that said and done, the last thing to do is quickly have a look at how I set up a um, offset mirrored system. I'm now just going to quickly cover it, but what you can see is the coal um, feeds are all lined up either side of the canal and the pipelines are going to be slightly offset and then we're going to run a walkway across the center and that just gives it a nice look about it but personally i'm not too keen on the offset of the pipes um, anyway guys that's all we have time for in today's video i do hope you found this video helpful i'm sorry it's been quite long um, but if you did find it helpful and you like what we have here, then be sure to hit the thumbs up icon. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. And as always, ciao for now.